We're going to play a little game. All right, so it's just Cat here, and we are back to text Murphy, overseer, and we're about to enter this creepy room. So, Xander Clark's lab. Something caught my eye. What was it? It was blood. It was all over the floor. Probably walked into the middle of a murder scene, and the question was, where was Bosworth Clark? Okay. What are these? I'll never figure out how to get this thing working. I've had a hard enough time operating anything more high-tech than a coffee maker. Okay, what is these? Something tells me if these display monitors were on, I might find out what Bosworth Clark was working on. Okay. Oh! On. This monitor appears to be hooked up to an external camera. Well, duh. I can't tell if this is a map or a long-range camera display. Oh. Looks like I have to press these buttons in a certain sequence to open the storage cabinet. Each button has a unique tone. Maybe there's a reference to the sequence somewhere in here. Okay. I've always enjoyed working with models, but I prefer the kind with two legs. Oh, it's a model of a satellite dish. What's this? Oh my God. An ashtray. A matchbook. Oh, that's it? Oh, matchbook. Okay, can we open it? No, it's just a matchbook. Like a, a, a fadey, is it showing up in the recording? I don't know, but there's like a, a a flashing little arrow right next to above my arrow right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's really weird. Um, Nothing unusual about the table. Uh, something with the calendar. Calendar doesn't tell me too much. What is this under the bed? What did I find under the bed? It's a CD in it. Okay, we need to find a CD. What's this? What do I find? Chip reader. Does this go to the CD player? No. Okay. Certainly appears to be a lamp. Certainly is. Okay. Okay, the chip reader. Here. Pass card readers hooked up. Now I'll need to scan the pass card. I still have this pass card with work. That doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. Hmm. Is anything in this corner? No. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Plenty of chairs. I wonder if Clark was working alone. Clark must really have a thing for satellites. What is this? What is that? Smoke detector. Well, this smoke alarm wasn't designed to detect smoke. With any luck, the little camera inside detected something even more interesting. Okay. So let's put the CD in the CD player. Burn matchbook disc player. Okay. Bosworth. Oh, yes, yes. Bosworth Clark. Yes. What? What is this? We're going to play a little game. <laughs> One in six chances. <laughs> Lucky boy. <laughs> One more time. No, don't. Hmm. 
<laughs> he smiled at the camera. Oh, Slade, you devil. Do 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 do. Do do do. Looks like it should work, but it's got a weird keypad on it. Okay, I've got another card. I bet I can find the password somewhere in here. Password. Usage satellite system. The usage satellite system operates under the assumption that the user has provided him or herself effectively efficient in the use of usage sanctioned equipment if this not be the case any user caught without an official badge of completion will be tried for treason. Nice little rhymes there. We need password. BA42? BA42? Probably not it still. It's not it. Always a classic. Maybe it's the BA24? It's the only thing in here. I bet I can find the password somewhere in here. The question is, is this the unpronounceable name of some Anasazi god, or something even less obvious? Okay. Uh, there's a note stuck to the side of there. So, is the password check me? I bet I can find the password somewhere in here. Okay, checkmate. Outline for implementation of interface stage one programming complete. Stage two programming complete. Satellite complete. Interface beta testing complete. Is that it? Not in his room. No. Probably ran out of rub. How about her? I thought I'd stop by and see whether you'd finished your examination of that photograph of Linsky. We did, but we only found one thing of any interest. Both Klaus and Linsky were wearing ID badges with the STG logo on them. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, I've already been there. No, not yet. You got a couple of minutes. I'd like to ask you a few more questions. Sure. Ask about STG. I've heard only one reference to STG. It was in a letter sent to me anonymously about a month ago. What was in the letter? The letter was sent by someone calling him or herself the poisoned pawn. 
I would have figured it was written by some psychopath, but there is enough verifiable information to make me take it seriously. The letter said that there was a project called STG, which was in the process of being swallowed up by law and order. The letter advised us to check out John Klaus, STG, and law and order's connection to it. Okay, poise pawn. I have no idea who it is. We examined the letter for clues to the author's identity that came up dry. He or she did say that we could contact them through someone named Jorge Valdez. Jorge Valdez. There are a handful of Jorge Valdez's in the area, and I'm sure there are some that aren't listed. I've checked out the ones I could find, but none of them appeared to be the one I was looking for. Okay, anything else? Nope. Okay. How about Dolores? She's not gonna notice so anything. So what can I do? Sexiest PI. Okay, ask about... I believe that's someone Carl used to play chess with. I don't know anything more about him. Okay, poor Pern. I'm afraid... Haven't heard of it. Wanda's letter. Can't help you. Linsky Kraus. Oh, my darling Carl. I don't recognize his friend, though. This photo was taken recently. Oh, thank you. Uh, SGG. Oh. She can't help. Okay, end conversation. Let's see if fuck lady. How is everything? Then it's not going so good. So, doesn't sound familiar. Don't know who that is. Don't know anything about it, and doesn't sound familiar. You're a big wad of help. Let's talk to Eva. This is your last free visit, Murphy. Unless you start doing something for me, I am not going to be here to sit around and answer your questions all day. Sorry, can I ask about George? I don't... Don't waste my time. Poison I... pawn, don't have anything, want his letter, never heard of it. Close photo, no information, STG, never heard of it, motherfucker. Nothing going on at the office. No faxes. Oh, I could ask the computer, even though it's not gonna help me. All right, let's see what we got. We got something on four hair. 23 matches found on the additional information required. All right, on the STG, 11 matches found worldwide, located in California, established months ago. Warp, there's that photo. Nothing really to see here. Uh, can I combine any of this shit? No. Uh, what do we do? Okay, I checked the hints. It said after getting the facts, go talk to Wanda again. So, how is your investigation progressing? Uh, stick to business. Just be nice. I found out some things that might interest you. Okay. I thought you might. You seem a resourceful and. I didn't see fellow. anything in the facts that made any sense, but okay. Ask about Gideon and... Did I completely miss that? Gideon Enterprises had a little shake-up recently. The chairman of the board, Frank Shimming, pulled a coup on Jay St. Gideon, who's now practically out of a job. It was all legal, but underhanded. Okay. Gideon! Gideon helped us design some of our most valuable and top secret surveillance equipment. We even invited him to join our organization, but he said that he was too old for the cloak and dagger business. Okay, Frank Schwimming. Rumors have circulated that Schwimming is connected to the Law and Order Party. If that's the case, we're going to have a hard time doing anything to stop them. Gideon Enterprises has more money and power than it knows what to do with. They would make an imposing enemy. Okay, so I have to go back and sheet. Get more faxes. Right, let's see what we got. A friend. Frank Shimming's direct line number. I didn't ask for this. Okay, Frank Shimming. Current chair on the board, I'm married, blah blah. Gideon, Devonshire, England, United National Forces, founded Gideon, president of Gideon, became corp billionaire. Okay, Gideon Enterprises, 
Fortune 500. Okay, let's use the phone. Okay, okay. Yes. Polite introduction, SGE reference looking for a hot tip. Polite introduction. Mr. Shimming, my name's Murphy, and I'm looking into the apparent suicide of one of your employees. Is this an official investigation? Yes. Go hard. You'd better believe it, pal. I believe it's within my rights to ask for whom you work. Uh, independent. I don't work for anybody. I'm working with Wanda Peck. So, you're with Capricorn. I thought you people had gotten tired of pestering me. Uh, aware of the imposition. We know you're a very busy man. A few quick questions and I'll let you get back to ruling the world. Please? What is it you want this time? Yes. Ask about every goddamn thing. Carl! No one by the name of Carl Linsky has ever been on Gideon Enterprises pay- Oh, I didn't cut it off. He <laughs> should pay. Gideon. Mr. Gideon founded this corporation and brought it to prominence. And he did this despite mediocre business skills, which have diminished along with his general mental state over the past several years. He became obsessed with pet projects and was leading the company in a counterproductive direction. And for that reason, the board of directors saw fit to limit his authority in business matters. So what does Mr. Gideon think about all of this? Why don't you ask him yourself? I'm sure he'd appreciate a visit from someone other than nurses and wheelchair repairmen. I'll let you know where to find him. Thank you. Shimming? Professionally, I strive to do what the board of directors pays me to do run this corporation as effectively and profitably as possible. My personal life is none of your business. Okay, Gideon. We are the world's foremost innovator and implementer of security surveillance systems. We are also the parent company for dozens of smaller firms, ranging from computer chip makers to research facilities. Okay, Jorge. I don't know who that is. Okay, push upon. Totally unfamiliar. Want his letter? I have nothing of any importance to say about that. Let's keep Klaus' photo. I know John Klaus, but only socially. I'll have to take your word that the other man is Carl Linsky. I've never seen him before in my life. Okay, STG. We have many small subsidiary companies. If I remember correctly, STG was research-based and Probably more of a write-off than anything. I know it is no longer in existence and was unimportant, to say the least. Mm, John Klaus? Now this questioning is getting tiresome. Get to the point if you have one. Mm, Bosworth? I don't know who that is. Val Davis. The name is completely foreign to me. Law and order. My political beliefs are my own and I make a point of not allowing them to interfere at any time with my business dealings. Okay. Capricorn. I respect the work Capricorn does, which is the only reason I'm talking to you now. To my knowledge, Gideon Enterprises has done nothing to warrant a Capricorn investigation. Rona Morgan. Ms. Morgan was a top engineering consultant for Gideon Enterprises for many years. She left and started her own company several years ago and was doing quite well last time I heard. Okay, finally something on her. Overlord. Now this questioning is getting... Okay. Uh, North Hill Clinic. North Hill Clinic security system was installed by our corporation. That is the extent of my dealings with the clinic. Okay. De Leon. I haven't heard of it. Okay. Chess. Chess was and is a common motif in Gideon Enterprises, owing to Mr. Gideon's avid interest in the game. I have no interest in it myself. Sylvia? The name is completely foreign to me. And me. I have no opinion of you whatsoever, Mr. 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 Uh, 
All right, we're done with you. Hum. Well, I th oh, Gideon's house. And there's a Slade there. We are gonna save Mr. Slade until next time. <laughs> so thanks for watching everyone and I'll catch you later. <laughs>